Hey Tubes, how are you doing each day? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I'm doing each day in my room, I want to say thank you so much for the help from yesterday's uh, vlog about what type of solar panel and charge control to get for this portable uh, system. But basically, I do have some updates on what I have changed on this battery box itself. Now, everything else is still the same layout, but I added a non cigarette outlet to the side of the box and also relocated my switch. It used to be towards the back, but I put it towards the side of the box as well but I will also show you that as well. Now you can see, this thing's pretty dang freaking heavy. This is my battery bank, should I say. It can power basically almost anything if you put it up to the tack, should I say. Like it could power a desktop, it could power a TV, it could power a stereo, but with using, of course, a inverter as well. But basically, everything else is working perfectly fine. I tore this thing apart last night. I was so uh, frustrated with the wiring and this didn't look nice. It just drives me absolutely crazy. But alright, let's go ahead and show you the system and let's see what I have changed uh, on this battery backup. Let's go. Well, before I show you what the side of the box looks like with everything mounted, let's go ahead and do somewhat of a review of my homemade uh, battery bank itself. But let's go ahead and go over the components a little bit here. These are USB uh, 5 volt uh, systems. You can see you got one amp, one amp, uh, two. 0.1 amp 5 volts down on the bottom and of course we have the voltage meter as well that does tells me the voltage of the battery and of course over here is three 12 volt cigarette outlets but going to be changing these out uh, in some point later on in the future with more of these instead of having these right though but you saw this in the last today's vlog, my Noco style charger I was using. You can see this plugs into the wall, and this just plugs into the side of my box. And of course, I have this small little inverter. Okay. Now, if you're ready to see what's on the side, let's go ahead and show you what I have changed on the box itself. Okay, you notice my switch, it used to be towards the back, I put it to the side. This was here before, the Noco uh, charger here, and so was this switch, was over here, tells me the indicating of my uh, unit. Now as you can see, I added another one, cigarette outlet. This is hot all the time. Basically I can take whatever I need. Plug it into there, and if I need something to be powered, instead of turning the whole entire system on, and that will actually work very nicely uh, for the system. Now, the back, I mean, nothing changed too much on the back, so for I just need to fix up some holes. Of course, here is the area where my switch used to be, but I decided, you know what, I didn't like it on the back anymore. I decided to put it towards the side and it looks very nice now the more things you add the more holes you would have to try to fill up or try to fix if you decide to change stuff around on it pretty cool I like this battery box should I say it's very awesome before you guys and girls decide to build something like this make sure you have a plan where you want everything to lay out on your lid and also in the battery box. 
and you kind of can see here we have three 12 volt cigarette outlets a fuse block and two USBs and a voltage meter this is called a six circuit uh, fuse block basically I have all 15 amp circuits and of course uh, 14 gauge wiring a ground block to ground all my circuits to the battery but basically just make sure you have a awesome plan before you decide to make this by scratch because you never know what you're going to like or not like on certain areas of your uh, box but let's go ahead and show you the inside of my box alright let's start off over here where the 12 volt 26 amp hour capacity battery a steel lead asset is sitting right here in the actual middle basically curious on what these are these are called posts okay I have everything kind of connected to here and I have the battery going over here and the wire going over there to connect everything now you can kind of see I have a piece of wood right here to hold the battery in place you can see I have a minus and a plus for negative and plus and that's just the extra 10 amp fuse for the Noco Genius charger right there and you can kind of see here is the piece of wood going across and this is what I just added uh, not too long ago you can see it's a 20 amp circuit 12 gauge wiring this is my main one that's 30 amps for basically everything that's on the lid made over there now on the inside of my box looks pretty good there's my actual switch I moved it from there to over there there's the genius charger down there and it's switch and the wiring I'm still kind of figuring out just trying to lay it all nice and also here is the own cigarette outlet because I put it there because I want it hot all the time it's pretty nice I really like the way it turned out but still figuring out the wiring issue and everything uh, on this box it's very really complicated should I say but you figure it out all right let me kind of explain more about this uh, battery system on why I built it and I made it well sometimes we have power outages here at my home and sometimes the power won't come back on during the morning and basically how are you going to charge your uh, cell phone or uh, your small little electronics well you can get one of those very portable um, chargers if you want those battery portable systems but this guy here can do a lot more okay I have my AC style lamp right here and also plus this small inverter now remember how I used to plug it up over here on the top I don't need to do that now I can plug it right on the side and it's on and basically plug my lamp into it and I can actually now power this guy pretty freaking amazing turn off the main light though and basically you can, can see I have new energy right here and I have my LED light right there now by the way the voltage meter and all these circuits work perfectly fine I have the switch you can see my voltage has dropped a bit of 12.6 volts of me running this little LED light should I say because it is a AC lamp now you can actually get 12 volt uh, light bulbs if you want and you can convert this lamp to use 12 volts instead of using this type of inverter okay basically this is the inverter you would be using to convert DC 
to AC. And this is a very nice ideal to have a cigarette outlet hot all the time without having the main system turned on. But I really do love my second build. But do yourself a favor, have a plan before you start building stuff like this. Because it's not always easy to make something by scratch. That's all I have to say. Just have a plan. Have an idea what you want to do and how you want to build it. Alright, if you guys and girls are also brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. And have fun with your small 12-volt system.